Hi, welcome to uh, part two of my uh, flea market finds for Sunday, October 20th, 2024. I decided to take the rest of the records out of the box, it would be easier. I was not comfortable. Uh, Peter and Gordon, I don't want to see you again. What annoys me is because I hesitated to pick another Peter and Gordon record. And I, I should have because the song I wanted to have on LP was not on this one, on, uh, on the other one. But I must have had a good reason to leave it behind. Maybe it was a condition. I vaguely remember the cardboard, uh, the sleeve was not in, in terribly great shape. But the other one had Woman, which was written by Paul McCartney but under another name. But I know I have it on 45, so anyway. So this is Peter and Gordon. I don't want to see you again. The Jaggers, because I recently bought an album by them, a, a, a later album, and I liked what I heard, so I got this one. Uh, we went to different schools together, so I wasn't sure. Oh yeah, I remember it has some issues with the condition, like there's a lot of pops and crackle on, with a little help from my friends, which turns out to be not my favorite cover by uh, of that song anyways. But it has other better tracks that play better. So uh, overall, yeah, for two bucks, well, for dollar sixty-six, I'm I'm okay. Richie Havens, 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 something else again. It's actually pretty good. I always associate him to um, Woodstock. So I don't. This might be my first Richie Havens uh, album. I'm not sure. First choice, the player. I wasn't sure. I said, mm, I think I recognized that name. First choice. Then, when I got home, I started playing a little bit of it. I said, oh, wait a second. And then I look at this, the cover, and I tried to read the, find what I was looking for. And it said, ah, 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 okay, music by the sound of Philadelphia. I knew I recognized that sound. It sounded like, uh, yeah, uh, TSOP, MFSB. Uh, yeah, so the definitely early disco sound. Um, um, I'm glad I picked that up. Bo J, is that a, yeah, Bo J? Is that a J? Oh, God, sorry for butchering the name here. Less Miss, like, Less McCann Limited. Uh, this I might give to coffee because it was like, oh, I wanted that one, and um. It's it's good jazz. I, I actually it's a mixture of jazz and all kinds of genre, but it has a lot of hairline scratches and it's the kind of music I need to have a perfect copy of to enjoy. Uh, but I played the whole thing through and it's good music, so I might give it to Coffee. This I haven't had time to listen to. I know Coffee wanted to have it too, but I'm going to listen to it first. The Many Faces of Jazz Volume 46. So it's from a series. Teddy Buckner. Not tons of songs on it. Very short song. Uh, very long song, sorry. Uh, jazz classic sitting in volume one art holds. It's on Blue Note. And uh, it's. Um, I don't know how to identify because I've checked them out two days ago. Um, yeah, you can tell by this. The titles, it's pretty old stuff. Maple Leaf Rag. So then down blues, Dr. Jazz. I have to play the whole thing. Gatefold here. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see that big audition copy stamp and can barely read the text here. That's annoying. Oh well. That, it's hard to leave a blue note record behind. I want to pull it out to look at. This uh, is the condition I don't like. I, I'm hoping that one day if I get proper record cleaning equipment, it will sound great. So this is uh, Klaus Wunderlich, uh, Moog, Sound 2000, Organ Rhythm. So yeah, it's the Moog. Corn Flakes is a very uh, corny, uh, no pun here. Uh, ripoff of popcorn. You can you can hear that they, they even ch copied the percussions of popcorn by Hot Butter. So they tried to capitalize on the hit of uh, popcorn. But it's still an uh, since I love Kitsch and I love uh, Moog. It's an enjoyable record. Not my best Moog record ever, but 
this is I still don't know what to think of this record I have to play the whole thing but I always overlook this record Pierre de Lou no, okay another one of those Pierre de Lou. I see so many children's records with Pierre de Lou, but here's the thing it's on the RSO label and it's all in French okay and everything is written in French okay but then you look at the artist on I saw Robert Sturgwood whoa, whoa RSO and there's Man for a Man uh, I see Eno, Eno, I don't know if it's a, uh, yeah, Eno, um, I, s I think I saw Phil Collins, and it's from 1975, so yes, and I played little bits of it and said, whoa, what is that, rock, rock music, what is this, so I have to play the whole thing eventually, very soon. This uh, is just to, to add to my collection of Pierre Perpal records, but this is a unnecessary cover of Da Da Da, or the original is by Trio, but I decided to pick it up just to, come to, to add to my Pierre Perpal, my growing collection of Pierre Perpal records. So if it's lame, it's my fault. I didn't need it, but I want it. Uh, another one I didn't really need, decided to pick it up. Dwayne Eddy, uh, Twang, a country song, it's in mono but it's in great shape so it's a I think it is is it in great shape I'm trying to remember this is uh, has some noise on it uh, Sergio Mendes and Brazil 77 record is actually from 76 so it's probably his first record with that name Brazil 77 yeah it's an okay record I wish it would have been in better shape the best of Herbie Man. I saw remastered for stereo, big red flag, but two dollars. Decided to pick it up, and if I if I combine it, you know, with a Y adapter or proper equipment, actually will be very enjoyable. It's in great. Uh, it plays pretty well. It says from which albums these songs are from. Tel Aviv and Chasing the Bird were formerly available on Flute Souffle, Prestige, 7101, and Tutti Flutti, <laughs> what a title, and Bodo from Flute Flight, Prestige, 7124, at least they're from the same era. So, two dollars, yeah, that's good. In Memoriam, performed by the Modern Jazz Quartet, uh, with a symphony orchestra, and it's from 1973 so I play only little bits of it to, to make sure of the condition and everything and I hope there's not too many reflections, sorry about that so yeah that one I'm, I'm glad I got this I had to get this so <laughs> everything I throw wrong Mel Brooks to be or not to be the Hitler rap parts 1 and 2 <laughs> so yeah I had to get that. I don't think I've seen to be or not to be. This I'm glad I picked up at play with the playmates. I'm wondering if I saw this not so long ago and bought it, or just saw it without buying it. I don't know if I have this or not. But uh, it plays okay. It has a little dirt there, but and uh, yeah, I'm wondering if I have this already. <laughs> I don't know. This I'm glad I got. It plays well and everything. Sunshine, the Archies, uh, U.S. pressing on Kirshner. It even mentions the uh, cartoon by Filmation. I like the Filmation logo there. See, that's the one I want. I don't have that one with that cover there and, and hot dog. Anyway. Uh, the Miracles, City of Angels, and it opens this way. Stupid DJ copy sticker there, and it has Love Machine on it, a long version of Love Machine. It plays well, so I'm glad I got this. U.S. pressing. This is a uh, French uh, disco band, Ozilla, and uh, this 12-inch used to be liquid on liquidation uh, with the deletion slot there early 80s for 66 cents or 12 for a dollar I know because I bought a copy once I was a young teenager and my copy played a lot but to find a sealed copy yes I have the LP and the LP uh, have actually a French pressing from France now 
the mix is different on the LP so this I was excited to find I haven't played it and I even messed up a bit um, because this rare well unusual I never seen it 10 inch LP of Hank Williams uh, on MGM Records Moaning the Blues is, I want to frame this it's so cool but here's the thing at one point I was pulling out the record to play it and then I remember that these old covers tend to bend curve very fast like in minutes if you don't put something back inside I panicked and I, I, I just right away put the record back and I, I actually this wasn't like that when I bought it it already is ripping from here to here I did that Sunday and it here it's starting to crack and this was probably like that but this is not split yet and this is not split so I'm really really scared to death to to remove the record again out of the cover but if I do remove it I have to put something back in that's sturdy that's rigid and it won't bend and I will keep the record outside and in a different state these are upside down because these six records were five dollars each they came down with the rebate at four dollars and fourteen cents each roughly Martin Circus French singer on the du Rock and Roll Circus and it's not what I expected it's actually better than what I expected so that was fun I have all what I've checked I've checked only a few seconds oh I can't wait to play the whole thing weird it's a live show but it's and the titles are funny. C'est pas de la soupe. Uh, moi je lis les bandes dessinées. Tout en to, to, to uh, uh, Yeah, uh, I've never seen this. So because I have a, f a few Martin Circus records, but disco ones that he did in the late uh, 70s. Uh, this I'm glad I got. Oh my goodness, Joe Turner, his greatest recordings. Uh, U.S. pressing on Atco and all the dates are there 53 53 51 57 shake rattle and roll uh, um, what else chains of love the chicken and the hawk it's in great shape I, i'm really glad i got this um this uh, shrink wrap is almost turned off but I, I have to keep it because of the hype sticker uh primitive cool by mick jagger it has less let's work which is a guilty pleasure of mine i love the video from 1987 i thought yeah here's my chance to get it Everly brother is in your image in great shape stereo yes thank you i will pick that up yes please having a wild weekend the dave clark five in glorious mono and uh yep and finally this was a uh this uh coffee had picked up in this first run through the boxes and decided to discard it I tried desperately to explain to him what Esther Phillips sounded like I'm not very good at it I, I tried to explain that her previous record had what a difference that they make on it and uh, I don't know he ended up uh, discarding it and actually that's my favorite find of my stack of uh, five dollar records because it's better than I expected it's so good like I can't oh my goodness it's I don't know how to describe it I'm really glad I got this especially since I have the previous album already uh, so those were yeah so those were the, the LPs now the 45s how, how are we doing on time 13 minutes okay the 45s I picked uh, 47 only four I regret getting so that's not bad I didn't get screwed too much I got screwed on this one the other ones are yeah we'll see so this one wonderful wonderful by the times and come with me to the sea and it's melted at one point so it skips because uh, it goes like bloop, bloop, bloop. on this thing it won't skip on a proper turntable uh, yeah it's not even that good I didn't know what to expect this one is Eric Chardin, Child Maria and Lily Zitou, Lily Zilou, sorry. Uh, since it was 69, nine, the year, so well, maybe it's better than I think. It actually plays terribly and the songs are not that great, so maybe cleaning it would make it more listenable, but last time. 
This is my stupid mistake. It's not the seller's fault. It has a Woolworth uh, sticker on it. Wanda Jackson, the greatest actor, and you bugged me bad. I thought this would be her rock period, but it's actually country. And this is really not my cup of tea. Hocus Pocus by Focus 1973. It's uh, just a genre that I don't like. That's it. Only four or four fives I didn't like. Let's look at the rest. The very first one in the first box, yoink. And then the second one, yoink. So that's fun. It started pretty well. Suzanne Valéry chante le rapide plan du film La vie heureuse de Léopold Z et pauvre Léopold with the stamp of Radio Canada Québec. Ben ça, Caroline, j'ai bien aimé le, le film La vie heureuse de Léopold Z. Il y a, il y a même Gilles Latulette dans ce film-là. Puis j'ai jamais vu cette bande sonore-là. J'adore les bandes sonores. Oh, I love sound, rare soundtrack records. It's a, it's a French Canadian movie. I love it. I think it was an NFB film. I'm not sure. So, uh, Eddie Mitchell, this is an EP, but it really needs a good cleaning. Trois cents mois, I toute la ville en parle, début de la fin. There we go. Um, oh, it, I think it has... No, that one doesn't have the tag. This one I already have on LP, but I thought that it would be cool to have it on a 45. No scratches. Jaguar Shake and Solitude. Well, I didn't know it has a miss. It's a mispressing. Uh, it's playable, but uh, it's off center. Y you can't tell by looking at it. You have to play it to see the arm. The arm going like this. So you have this wow effect. Yeah, I would have left it behind. But I, you know, I decided to put in my good part. Parma Faux, the Sexta, and uh, Le Désastre. Not, not uh, easy to find, and uh, I j just needs a good cleaning. Diane Bourgeois, Pour Toujours. And the Brise, with a misspelling here. Brise doesn't take an S. Imperatif présent, deuxième personne du singulier. À l'impératif, ça prend pas de S, ne brise pas mon rêve. This I was curious. Uh, Janet Jackson, that's the way love goes. An instrumental version for jukeboxes only. Is there a year on it? But it's on red vinyl. So yeah, decided to take it for a dollar. Well, actually, it comes down to eighty-three cents. Eighty-three cents. Billy Miles, the Joker. That's what they call me. And Honeybee. It's in great shape. A little scuff there, but otherwise. This I already have, but I did, never saw the cover of it. Montreal, 1976, Radio Canada, um, Olympics. I got it for the cover. The record is in probably better shape than the one I already have, and I like this shirt here. My younger brother in 76 had a t shirt like that with the bar and the Canada here. So, yeah, that's very 1976 to me. This needs a good cleaning. It's an EP of a soundtrack to Sanariv Kozot, music by Michel Polnareff. And a lot of short tracks here. And it's a great song, but it's, it really needs a good cleaning. This is... Uh, we're getting to better stuff here. Love, because uh, I try here to put the best the best ones at the end. Love is the answer by the Four Tops. And it's all in the game. Another clean record. Most of these are clean. Something I don't see too often. Z par La Cellule. Co-op des artistes québécois. Je veux vivre au Québec. Uh, hold on by the Rascals. And I believe, again, pretty clean. This I, I was curious, Jack Scott, Grizzly Bear, not sure yet if it's a good song, I won't play it for seconds, it's clean, 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 this side is cry, 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 all platinum label, uh, sending out an SOS by Bretta Young, 1975, oh this is the instrumental side and this is the vocal side, Bretta Young, Prince, Sign of the Times, with la 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 he he he, I prefer that side from the little bits I've tested, and it has a sample of a dog barking in it, so it's pretty good. Uh, Never Can Say Goodbye, the Jackson 5 with She's Good from the album Maybe Tomorrow, but what's really fun is that it says on both sides, 
see the Jackson 5 on ABC TV special Diana April 18th 1971 that's pretty cool and I do have the album that came after that of that show uh, here we have Skinny Meanie by Bill Hayden and his comments in its original sleeve you see the catalog number on it some store owner wrote the number it's the same as on the record Skinny Meanie with Sway With Me and not a scratch and it plays so well I love finding you old stuck like that like, pretty cool this is probably the cleanest copy I have of this Silly Log Songs silly, sorry Silly oh, blah, blah, blah. Silly Love Songs by Wings with Cook Up The House my our uncle René had this when I used to go to my grandmother's place with my little cassette recorder and record not even entire songs but bits of songs to compile and try to get as much music as possible in one visit and I like both sides Cook Up The House is an uh, oddity song by uh, Linda McCartney I like it Downtown DJ is the King by Plastic Bertrand 1983 Gueule d'Amour Three Trois disques consécutifs de Mariette Lévesque. À la Saint-Lindlin, Cher John, Fran Front Page. Je me promène sur la Catherine. Oh, Parole et musique, Joël Denis. Ah, fun. Toi et moi, un peu beaucoup. Oh, in great shape. Angelo Filandi. Uh, Le Sorcier Le Moody, that's the B-side, I think. Le Sorcier Le Moody, because it's a... Uh, oh. Huh? Okay, for... Ah. I'm confused. M. Mallory, Richard Tate, and Joe Finaldi. I have to look up, there's something wrong here. Edition Vogue International Holiday Music. Is that a co collaboration French Canada? I don't know. Pas fou. Oh, Luc Lamondo wrote the lyrics. Okay. Because Pas fou was, was redone later by Nanette Workman. That's why I picked this up and it's in great shape and it's a good rocking record. I'm glad I got this for a dollar. This I got because it's I'm a Jouer d'Assin collector and Jouer d'Assin had a <laughs> Huge hit in 1975 called L'été Indien, which is a French cover of Africa. It says even here to capitalize on that original version of L'été Indien, Albatros. What I love is the B side, Haria, and it's actually very good. I love odd B sides like throwaway songs that sometimes are so much fun to discover. You saw earlier the Playmates, Joanne. I got this because. You Can't Stop Me From Dreaming is not on the album. I have actually checked. Uh, that's why I picked it up. I'm always on the lookout for B-sides that are not on the albums. I already have this one, but I wasn't sure if this would be an upgrade. I collect all Jacques Desrosiers records. Uh, Fais-moi I and Tu te laisses aller. Uh, je ne puis plus rien sans toi, René. Les Faucons. Petite Chérie. Les Faucons. Uh, Petit Chéri is a French cover of Little Darling by uh, The Diamonds. Here we have a great condition James Brown and the Famous Flames. Good rocking tonight with Let Yourself Go. Look at this. Oof. Whoa. Crown Heights Affair. Every Beat of My Heart. Same song on the other side, but longer version. Funkadelic. Uh, I'll keep my opinion of them to myself because uh, everybody will hate me, but they're good. But I don't know what the fuss is about. There's way better stuff out there than Funkadelic. Probably I haven't heard their best stuff yet. I, I barely have anything by them. Uh, but this is good. It's just that I, there are others that I like even better. You and your folks, me and my folks. I haven't played the whole thing, just a few seconds to check the condition. Funky Dollar Bill. I think Westbound was the label where uh, my favorite funk band, Ohio Player, started. I'm not mistaken. 
Uh, here we have the impression, say you love me and you'll be always mine. And here we have Curtis Mayfield, get down. And we're a winner. I think this is my very first Curtis Mayfield record. No, I have a soundtrack of, uh, I don't know, what's the soundtrack he did? But my copy is like, I, I got the top that has a little scratch on it. And anyway, so that, in my mind, this is my first true Curtis Mayfield record. Benny King, Supernatural Thing, Part 1 and Part 2 from 1975. And it plays pretty well. This is pretty good here. The KGs hustle with every muscle. I still don't know what the, the difference is between the two sides aside from the time that's slightly different. 3 minutes 10 seconds, 3 minutes 20 seconds, I think. The KGs, are, of course, I, re I recognize the name right away because they appear on the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. This is so good. War by Edwin Starr. Ah, this is why it's good. Norman Woodfield. Okay. He who picks a rose. Great shape, by the way. And then I found this. Uh, he, this is how it uh, in the third box. At one point, I found "Is You I Love" by Fats Domino with Valley of Tears, which I have in great shape on 78. This 45 is like pristine. So I was really happy. Yoink. Then two other records by other people passed. Uh, came after that one, and then I picked. Five mint pristine fat domino foy fives in a row. I was like yoink 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 yoink. I, I don't remember last time I yoinked five foy fives out of a box in a row. Shura, which is the best of the lot. Oh my god. It's very short but it's very good. And uh fell in love on Monday. I won't put them pull them out of these original sleeves, but trust me they're they're all like this, like really, really, really clean. Ain't that just like a woman? And what a price. I want you to know. And the big beat. I think I have a crap beat up copy of the big beat or something like that. Before I grow too old and tell me that you love me. Country boy. And if you need me. <laughs> Gonna have. It was meant to go to me. I, I had to find it. And we're almost done here. Kept the best for the end. Keep on moving by Creative Source. Good funk record, man. I what's this side? Both sides are good. I can't see myself without you. By Creative Soul. And then the last one was not the f last record I found, but it was my favorite purchase of. It was in in the middle of the first crate. Man, I was so happy. Uh, was it in the first or second crate? remember uh, I thanks to my friend Michi 45 that's his uh, handle on uh, YouTube he uh, sometimes we sh he sends me a link and I, I, I watch uh, videos of uh, charts and like uh, videos like uh, top 50 songs of uh, April uh, 1976 in England for instance something like that and then they play like seven eight seconds clips of different songs this song in that video last year I think it was when I heard that video and then I recognized a song from my childhood <gasps> and then I paused the video looked up the song played the whole song and I couldn't believe it I I heard this every day for maybe a month two months and then never again around the time I did my uh, première communion what's première communion when I turned eight let's just say that spring 76 and it's it's a song that won I don't know if this Brotherhood of Man band is the same as the Brotherhood of Ben album you saw in the previous video but it's a kitschy a song that won a uh, award at the um, first prize oh my god look at the time of the video Oof. let's finish up fast uh, yeah 29 minutes man uh, it, it won the uh, Eurovision prize so anyway 40 something years without hearing this then I found the title and I've been looking for this boom I found it I was so happy so thank you for watching